So, hi everyone. So today, what I would like to present is uh, some aspect of quantum physics that are very that are important to understand uh, when you are working on quantum communication and quantum internet, quantum networks. So this is why the, the so the title is quantum states are relative to observer, and there is a subtitle, and this is important for quantum networks. Uh, the, the objective of this uh, of this uh, session is not only to present this aspect, but also to show you how we can use how we can use the quantum physics or quantum mechanics formalism, mathematical formalisms, and you will see it's not so difficult. It's uh, something that is uh, very close to what you should know about uh, Euclidean uh, space, but instead of having uh, a uh, vector space on real numbers, you have a vector space on complex number. But the way it works in terms of calculation, computing, is uh, is uh, uh, almost the same. Uh, so, uh, do you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, thank you. So, uh, the, the for the introduction, I, will, I want to first to talk about quantum parado uh, paradoxes in quantum physics, and I say the pseudo paradoxes, but because most of them, can, depending on how we understand quantum physics, uh, are not really uh, paradoxes. Uh, there are some the most known uh, paradoxes in quantum physics is first the Schrod Schrodinger cat. Uh, is the cat dead or alive at the same time? And you also have the einstein poleski rosen paradox, uh, which is about the spooky action at distance. Uh, uh, and uh, the idea is that if you, must, if you have a, a pair of qubits that are entangled and that you measure one of them, then this is that so you change the state of the, the qubit you measure, but it instantaneously uh, change the state of the other qubit. And uh, misunderstanding uh, of what is a quantum state may uh, lead to wrong statements. Uh, I set few of, few of them here. Uh, some may think that special relativity is wrong because of the EPR paradox, but uh, for uh, until uh, now, uh, special relativity has never been. Uh, uh, broken. In fact, it's, it has always been true uh, since it's uh, 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 event, uh, mentioned by Einstein in 1905 uh, and 1915 for the general relativity. And uh, another, uh, some, I, uh, I, all, I quite often hear that, in fact, uh, the, the, the second one, uh, uh, the transmission of information uh, can be faster than light with quantum physics. With entanglement, and uh, this contradicts, in fact, no go theorem in quantum physics that uh, there is no uh, faster than light uh, signaling. Uh, and here again, quantum physics has always been true uh, since it emerged in the 1920s uh, years. And there is also the so-called uh, measurement pro uh, problem in quantum physics. So it's still an open uh, question in quantum physics. But a better understanding of what is a quantum state, how we, how we should consider quantum states, may help in um, solving uh, this kind of problem. So the question is, uh, what is uh, a quantum state? So we will start with, with uh, mass mass mathematical notation. So the, mass, the notation that is used in quantum physics is uh, the Dirac notation. Uh, a quantum state is, uh, uh, we often hear that a quantum state is a vector in the nil space. It's not exactly true. Uh, it can be represented by a vector space, but the one-to-one -one mapping between a mathematical, the, the, the quantum state set and the mathematical structure is with the set of lines in uh, in uh, in the Hilbert space. So a quantum state, we can say that it is a line or ray uh, in an Hilbert space, an Hilbert space being a vector space to simplify the vector space on a complex number with a given dimension. And uh, so 
as you know, each line can be represented by a vector. So uh, a quantum state can be uh, represented by a vector. And in terms of notation, we have the cat notation. So uh, psi uh, without anything uh, around it is the quantum state. And when you put it in, a, in a, with the, 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 the symbol, the vertical bar, and the greater than uh, uh, symbol on the, uh, the uh, uh, vertical bar on the left and uh, greater than symbol on the right, it is, uh, it, it is uh, this indicates that you represent the, the quantum state psi, psi by, uh, by a vector. And we, this, we call this a cat. Yeah. Can you think of uh, the hypersphere instead of the line? Represent, uh, uh, you will see later. You will see later. Hmm. But uh, it, uh, you, you, there is a block sphere uh, representation, and uh, and uh, but it is in the, in the well, you will see uh, it is in dimension two. There is you can represent it with a sphere, but it is spe specific to dimension two. The the sphere in uh, Hilbert space is something a bit uh, strange <laughs> because it because of the complex uh, because of the, the, the the field is uh, complex numbers not real numbers. Uh, so for each cat, we have uh, the, the corresponding bra. So for those who remember between uh, uh, vector space and dual space, uh, it is uh, something that is in the dual of the inverse space. In fact, we, uh, we return the, the, the cat and with the, the rule that if you have if you have a linear combination with complex number because we are in complex uh, space uh, of vector, when we get the bra of the of the of, the, of this uh, linear combination, we need to uh, we need to change the complex uh, numbers with their conjugate. So this is uh, this is the difference with what we have with uh, Euclidean Euclidean uh, space in which uh, because we have real numbers. The conjugate of real numbers is uh, is uh, the, the same number. It, uh, the, the conjugation is, uh, is reduced to identity in real numbers. And we have the Hermitian product, which is really the equivalent of the of the scalar product in the Euclidean space. Uh, and uh, this notation is useful because uh, when we uh, when we when, uh, when if we note with the bracket notation. Uh, the, the, the emission product, it really corresponds to, to something that is like a scalar product between the bra of the left part and the cat of the right part. And uh, the property, uh, there is a property which is important, is that if you change the order of the, of the, of the vectors, uh, the, the, the bra, you, you change bra and cat, then uh, it is the conjugate of, uh, of uh, this, uh, of the, Initial uh, initial version, and uh, so if we consider the if we consider the Hermitian product of uh, linear combination of vectors, like it is written in the in the slide, then you use the rule of the bra uh, for the left part. So you change uh, lambda and mu by lambda star and mu star the conjugates. Uh, on the left, it is uh, linear, so uh, you, you do not have to change it. And then you, what you can do is to do the multiplication one by one between the, the bra and the cats, and you have this formula. And you see that uh, if you remember how it works with the scalar products in a Euclidean space, you exactly have the same uh, formula, except that because you have real numbers, the conjugates are equal to the numbers. Uh, so you remove the, you can remove the star uh, in the in the in the question. Is it okay? Uh, if uh, if you have any question, don't hesitate to to stop me. What is the star exactly? Star is the conjugation. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, the, the, normally, it's a usual notation for the conjugation uh, for complex number. Uh, you have also the bar uh, inside some cases that is used, but here I prefer to use the uh, in quantum physics. We usually we use the the, the star notation for the conjugation. Sorry. Not easy to ask question if you uh, if you have some notation uh, for me it was obvious but uh, it may not be. <laughs> and uh, for the linear operators, in fact, we use uh, Brian Kett in the reverse order. In fact, so in, any linear operator can be written like it is uh, like it is done in the slide. With the uh, when you uh, and, and when you 
to say. When you do, uh, you, you check what is the image of the linear opera, uh, operator on a, on a vector, so uh, uh, then you can just apply uh, the rules uh, with the 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 the, 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 the and the cat and the Hermitian product. So if you apply, for example, here you have a, combina a linear combination between many. Uh, Uh, individual uh, linear operators and uh, for one li individual linear operator if you apply this to a, a key that is called here key uh, uh, then you have uh, you, you you just have the contraction on the right between uh, phi and index key uh, and key uh, the Greek, Greek letter which is the Hermitian product it's a number so you can put it in front And you have the result of the, the of what gives uh, this uh, linear operator psi k phi k uh, psi k phi k sorry on the vector k uh, and it is just uh, it gives something that is proportional to psi k k psi k with a, a coefficient that is the Hermitian product between phi k and the vector k. You do? Yeah. Excuse me. Am I correct? Am I correct in thinking that the sum of the CK, uh, psi K, phi K is the diagonalization of the? Uh, it can be or not. You can. You, in fact, you can. Uh, you can. Yeah, yeah. More yeah. exactly, uh, if there are, if the phi K are A basis. D independent vectors, yeah. then is the diagonalization of. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. The exactly. Okay. Exactly. It is the case, but you can have anything and it can be uh, yes, regularized yes. or not. Mm -hmm. So it is linear. So mm -hmm. linear operators, we will forget it. What we, what we are more interesting is what I call orthogonal projector on a state. Uh, so it's a specific case in which you have only one element. Uh, and the element is made of a vector and the, uh, in, in ket and the bra, uh, for the bra, uh, the bra for the same vector. So it's psi, psi. Yeah. With a normalization uh, for the state psi, we, uh, we, we use the, the, the uh, psi, uh, we use a vector that psi, psi that is uh, norm, uh, normalized uh, to one. And uh, if you apply this uh, operator, orthogonal operator to psi, then you get psi simply because psi, psi is equal to one. And if you use, uh, uh, if you apply this uh, operator to any Op, uh, any um, vector that is orthogonal to, to psi, so phi uh, such as such as the Hermitian product is equal to zero. I, I forgot to, to, to say it's like the scalar product. Uh, two, two vectors are orthogonal if the scalar product is uh, equal to zero, and here in that case, if the Hermitian product is equal to zero. So uh, in this case, uh, you obtain the null vector in fact, when you do the calculation. So, uh, so here you have, uh, because, uh, so you, you have the, uh, what is the action of the uh, orthogonal projector, projector psi psi uh, on any vector by decomposing uh, uh, any vector in its component on the psi line and uh, in the, its components on the orthogonal space to the line. Now we can talk about what are states in, in quantum physics, the mathematical, mathematical modeling. A quantum state so can be represented by a vector in complex uh, Hilbert space, a ket, up to a normalization factor, and a, a global phase factor. So the, uh, we have the global phase factor just because uh, what we, uh, what we uh, because the, the real Quantum state is not the, the a vector, but a line in the Hilbert space. So psi uh, uh, is uh, the quantum state is a line in the Hilbert space, and uh, the set of the quantum state is uh, what we call the projective space because uh, the, the set of lines in a vector space is the projective space. Qubits is simply lines in a Hilbert space of dimension two. The smallest one that, that is interesting, uh, dimension one, there is nothing to say. Uh, quantum state psi uh, then can be written in basis. Uh, the, and the basis, we, uh, here we, we use the notation zero and one for the ket, 
for the basis for a given basis in uh, in the Hilbert space, and any vector can be so decomposed in this basis uh, up to a global phase vector. So we can choose the global phase vector such as the first component is uh, a positive uh, real number, so called cosinus theta divided by two, and then the, because we want to have uh, psi uh, normalized to one. Uh, in, in terms of vectors, so the other one we have something with the sign, the sign, the sign of uh, theta divided by two, and we may have a dephasing between the coordinate in the zero axis and in the one axis. So we can choose uh, any uh, phi, phase phi, uh, such as uh, we have a coefficient uh, exponential i phi. Uh, in front of this uh, second co coordinate. So theta is between 0 and pi, and phi is between uh, 0 and 2 pi, or any real number. Uh, in fact, uh, it is just uh, to have a one to one uh, uh, representation. And this is uh, where the block share appears, because if you uh, consider a, 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 a unit share in a 3D dimension in a, real, in, in, in a 3D real space, uh, a client space, then uh, Psi can be represented by a point on this unit sphere uh, with uh, polar uh, uh, coordinates, uh, theta and uh, phi, is represented here. Uh, so in terms of basis, we already spoke, spoke about the, the, the basis 0, 1, which is the computational basis. Why this name? It's because it's the basis that is used for quantum computing and quantum algorithms. And uh, it is uh, uh, the, the basis that is on the z-axis uh, in terms of convention that, uh, that is used uh, for uh, quantum algorithms. So here you have uh, the 0 and 1 representing of the block, block sphere. You have the basis plus minus, with plus being the sum of the 0 and 1 and minus being the difference up to the scaling factor to have normalized uh, vectors. So you, you, are, you here have where plus and, and minus vectors are. And on the y-axis, you have plus i and minus i. So for the name plus minus plus i minus i, you see why. Yeah? It's because uh, the, the, side, the, the, the coefficient in front of the 1 is plus 1 or minus 1 uh, plus or minus uh, uh, for plus and minus uh, uh, vectors, and it is plus i and minus i for the plus i and minus i uh, vectors. Now we will do a bit some calculation. So imagine that you have any uh, psi, uh, any qubit in a, any qubit state psi, psi, which is represented by this uh, this vector in the block sphere. Uh, what, uh, what is uh, the, or so the orthogonal uh, uh, state that I not psi orthogonal can be represented by this vector, and uh, in such a way that uh, psi and psi orthogonal form another ortho, uh, another basis uh, of on the vector space of dimension two here. So uh, why? Uh, so first, uh, there, are, there are two equations here, uh, but they are equivalent, you see. So it's uh, psi orthogonal is up to a global phase factor that we will choose later, e, uh, to the power i beta. And then uh, why uh, in the interior of the, the first parenthesis here, uh, do we have this, 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 uh, this formula? It just, if we express uh, psi and psi orthogonal in terms of computational basis, uh, for which, uh, because it is a basis, uh, 0, 0, and 1, 1 are equal to 1 in terms of Hermitian product, and the Hermitian product between 0, 1 and 1, 0 is 0. You can check that uh, psi is normalized. Eh? Uh, so we apply the bra and tet uh, uh, rules. Uh, on the left part, uh, the numbers must be uh, conjugated. And on the right part, it is linear. So uh, the, the, the product that, that we will obtain with 0, 1 and 1, 0 will be, will be 0 because the, it is the, comp uh, the computational basis. 
And so we will have only the, part, the coefficient that left uh, in the emission product that correspond to zero and zero and to one and one. Uh, and so we have cosinus uh, theta divided by two square for the for zero zero and for one one e i phi because it is on the left on the left will be transformed to e minus i phi the minus being in red here in this formula and uh, on the right part uh, there is no change the conjugation it is linear it is not conjugate linear so we will uh, have e i e i phi and the two are Canceling, uh, it, is, it is equal to one, and, and so it will remain for the one one, the square of the sinus of theta divided by two. So uh, cosine square plus sine square it is equal to one, so it is normalized. I will not do the same the, the, the same explication, but you have it on the slide. It is the same for psi orthogonal. So uh, the way I what psi orthogonal, I really have uh, uh, a normalized uh, um, uh, vector to one. And they are orthogonal because if you do the calculation, then uh, again, uh, you will have only the product 0, 0, and 1, 1, which will be left. And uh, the minus e i minus i phi on the uh, left will be transformed in minus e plus i phi. And on the right, uh, you will have the, uh, uh, there is no conjugation. And you see that uh, the two terms are, uh, cancel and you are zero. So, Psi and Psi orthogonal uh, are orthogonal. So for any uh, quantum state Psi, you, you can define uh, a state that is Psi orthogonal, and you can write it in this shape up to global phase E i beta. And this corresponds to uh, the opposite point in the box here, in fact. Because if you have theta and phi for, for Psi, you see that the opposite point is uh, as angle uh, P, P minus theta, an angle uh, p minus theta, and this is the, the this is the second part. This is the second part here. Uh, the, uh, uh, this is what I used for the calculation here, and this can be written on this shape with a global face here. And you see that here, uh, using the uh, trigonometric uh, formula, you see that you have uh, something which is in the same shape as here, except that you change theta in, with p, p minus theta and uh, Phi by uh, phi minus p pi. So, so you see, uh, I don't know uh, you, uh, uh, what is your opinion. For, for me, it's really uh, simple cal uh, calculation. In fact, uh, yes, you need to do it, but uh, there, there is nothing uh, very difficult in this, in this kind of calculation. And here, you simply prove uh, that uh, the orthogonal state to psi is the opposite. To the, uh, to, to, to the to the to the uh, of the quantum state uh, the, the the point the sun, the point uh, symmetric uh, the point symmetric point uh, it's uh, a bit redundant so uh, you have the the the, the psi vector the, the psi uh, point on the block sphere and uh, you take the symmetric point uh, with uh, the point symmetry of uh, with center zero uh, to, to, to get the orthogonal state. And this, uh, I, 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 uh, I do this, uh, this calculation because we will reuse this formula later for, uh, for the EPR uh, paradox. Uh, so in terms of basic transformation, basic transformation also, so you, uh, what we did in the, the last slide uh, was the writing on psi and psi orthogonal in terms of in the basis zero one, so this is equation one and two here, and not the question. So uh, this is the same, uh, same, uh, the, the, the same um, uh, block sphere representation. What you would like is to have the the, the reverse, the computational basis zero one in the basis psi psi orthogonal. So we just need to do uh, to have uh, to to invert. So one and two can be written in matrix uh, shape, and we just need to invert the the the, the, the matrix the matrix matrix. But this can be really done easily without using the matrix by simply multiplying uh, the equation one and two by this coefficient here. So the choice of the equation have been done in, in, such, a, in such a way that this term and this term cancel. Uh, it, it has be, so you have cosinus theta here, cosinus, cosinus square, and cosinus i phi sinus here. And here, uh, by multiplying by this, uh, you obtain the opposite here. So the one will cancel. 
for the zero, you have cosine square plus sine square, so you have one. So you, by adding the two, the, the, the two equations, three and four, you obtain that zero is as this expression. Now this plus this with a sign, a sign minus here. And same for the, for, for, for to, to get one, in fact, that you need to use other multiplication factor. Uh, and, uh, and, and do the, the addition to get the expression of one in uh, the psi, psi orthogonal basis. And this is uh, important for the next also. Uh, I, uh, uh, to, to get some, uh, an important result, I need to have the, I needed to have the, the expression of uh, basis zero and one in the basis of psi, psi orthogonal. And you see it's, it's still a quite simple uh, calculation, except that we use complex number, but uh, complex number are, are a bit like a real number, except that you have the conjugation. Now, uh, back to physics, what is uh, and mathemat mathematical uh, modeling of uh, quantum physics? Uh, what is uh, an observable and what is a measurement on qubits here? So first on measure, uh, yes, on, on qubits here. Yeah. Uh, so on qubits, uh, an observable is defined in, in, uh, in general, in quantum, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, quantum uh, system of any dimension. Uh, an observable is, is uh, said to be an Hermitian uh, matrix, uh, or by Hermitian operators, meaning that it can be diagonal, diagonalized with real numbers as uh, as uh, eigenvalue in a, in a, some orthogonal basis. So uh, for the qubits, then any observable can be uh, decomposed as it is written here with a first vector, uh, uh, with um, two uh, projectors, the project the projectors on the eigenvalue uh, psi, uh, eigen vector psi, sorry, and the projection of, on the eigen uh, vector uh, psi orthogonal uh, with eigenvalue lambda phi and lambda phi orthogonal with lambda la, uh, the two eigenvalues being different because if they are uh, equal it's something that is degenerated it is related then to the identity uh, for your information uh, the spin observable is defined like this so you have a factor h bar h bar being the Planck constant divided by two pi, uh, uh, so divided so the uh, h bar divided by two in term in front, and then you have uh, psi psi minus psi orthogonal psi orthogonal, meaning that you have plus one or minus one inside, uh, meaning that the, the the spin value can have two values, plus h bar divided by two or minus h bar divided by two. Uh, just for your information about uh, the, the, the spin, which is, some, which is something important in quantum physics. And this is what we use, in fact, uh, in, in, in matter qubits, uh, the, 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 the qubits uh, in quantum memories are related to, are generally, generally related to something that is a spin of, uh, uh, of a, uh, one half spin, which can have the value minus or plus, or, uh, minus one or plus one. So if we so well, yes we have this observable. So what is the measurement uh, outcomes with this observable? So the state before the measurement is any state that I wrote here. Uh, key, key. Uh, we say key or chi in, uh, in English. I have a dog. I don't know. Chi. So chi, uh, which is uh, expressed in, uh, here in the basis psi psi orthogonal. The measure value and final states are the following. With, uh, it, uh, so the measure value is the gain value lambda psi with probability uh, the, the square the, 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 the square of the absolute uh, the square of the emission product. And you see that uh, the, 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 this formula here can be also uh, single uh, so here you have the the, the emission product and the, the conjugate of the emission product. So we have something that is real. And uh, in addition, we, uh, you can also see this as the psi projector on which you apply chi on the right 
and uh, it, uh, the cat guy on the right and the bra guy on the left. And uh, so it can be also expressed like this. Uh, and uh, the value, if you do the calculation, it's uh, quite easy. You, 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 you find the square of the, cos cos uh, of the cosine of theta divided by two. And so we have this, we observe this value and the final set will be psi. This is uh, the, 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 one of the postulates, it, it is part of the postulates of the quantum mechanics. This can be also interpreted differently if we define a vector that is not normalized here, uh, which is the transition between chi and psi. It is the application of the, of, of the projector on psi, orthogonal projector on psi, applied to the state, initial state chi. And if you do the calculation, then you obtain, uh, here you have the, the Hermitian product, so the Hermitian product between psi and chi. Uh, 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 times uh, uh, the 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 cat kind uh, sorry and the probability uh, is then the uh, the emission product of this cat with if its uh, bra conversion here yeah? and the final state is again this state but renormalized by uh, multiplying it by the scalar. Uh, uh, the scalar one divided by square root of the probability. So it can be this with the probability cosine cot square. It can be also the, the other, uh, you can also measure the other uh, eigenvalue with the probability uh, that is the square of the sine of theta divided by two. And uh, this, uh, uh, and this uh, the formula works the same as above, replacing uh, psi by psi, or, psi orthogonal. So uh, we will use this. Uh, I will go back. We will use this uh, because we will pro proceed to measurement of qubits in pair of qubits. So we will use this uh, this, this formula uh, later. Now we will go to pair of qubits. More interesting uh, uh, things uh, to to discuss. Uh, the pair of qubits uh, can be seen that. Uh, you have two qubits, so you what you in terms of representation of the pair of qubits in an Hilbert space uh, in quantum physics, what you need is to have something that uh, includes the Cartesian product, because you want to to be able to model any independent pair of qubits uh, on uh, for one qubit and the other qubits. But this is not a, a, a vector space, so when you look at the vector space generated by the Cartesian product, then you obtain what we call the tensor product, which is in fact Uh, 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 Nilber space of dimension, the product of the dimension of, uh, of uh, the component uh, Hilbert sp spaces. Uh, in, that, in that case, uh, C2 by C2, 2 uh, two by 2 two is equal to 4, so it is, a, uh, it is a vector space of dimension 4. But don't, do not worry, uh, the fact that it is dimension 4 is not uh, 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 we'll know, yeah, because we are you, talking about pair of qubits and entangled pair of qubits, uh, it, it will not be uh, uh, yeah, too difficult to compute things in this uh, four-dimensional complex uh, Hilbert space. The, the computational basis of this uh, four-dimensional uh, Hilbert space is simply used by considering the Cartesian product of the basis. So you have 0, 1, and 0, 1 on each side. So you have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, simply. And the notation, so the, the, the notation uh, multiplied with a circle is uh, the usual notation for tensor product. Uh, here you just can consider just a notation. You can have some other basis also. Uh, you can use basis uh, phi on, for the first qubit and basis uh, psi for uh, phi, phi, phi orthogonal and basis psi psi orthogonal for the second basis and then you have all the product also. It is another uh, basis. And there are also other basis and uh, one which is interesting is the basis of the Bell state, what we call the Bell state. Uh, so the Bell state are written like this. So you see that you consider, you consider the computational basis, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and then you consider this vector. You can check that it is a basis. You, do the, you, can, do the, 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 you can check the emission products of uh, each pair of this, uh, of this Bell state. And uh, so 
and what what is also important is also one can prove I will not do it here that uh, any uh, base state uh, pi plus pi minus uh, psi plus psi minus uh, cannot be uh, written as a product of two uh, of two uh, uh, qubit state one from the other from one from uh, the first uh, uh, inverse space and one from from the second inverse space and the reason is the reason there are some reasons you can you can prove it but it is normal to find such kind of uh, basis because uh, the Cartesian product uh, c square times c square in terms of Cartesian product is uh, as less uh, elements far less elements than uh, the, the 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 tensor product c4 because uh, we have all the combination, linear combination, and here we have some linear combination uh, that cannot be decomposed, uh, retransformed into one single uh, one single uh, product of qubits. Uh, we always have two, uh, two uh, the, the, the sum of two uh, product of qubits. Uh, we say that uh, this so they are bell states. They are maximally entangled states of pair of qubits, and we will consider one. One, one, uh, the, uh, one which is which has a nice property you will see and this is what uh, I will show you and demonstrate you now is the, the psi minus uh, state which is uh, written in the computational basis like one over square root of two zero one minus one zero so it is one state uh, of uh, entangled base state base state uh, so we already do this calculation. This is why I wanted to, uh, to, uh, to show you that how we arrive to this transformation between in which we express 0 and 1 into psi and psi orthogonal. So we will inject this formula in the, in the, uh, the equation uh, about uh, psi minus in the computational basis. So we obtain this. So it seems to be a large uh, equation, but it's honestly, it's very simple. And then you uh, you apply the you are you, you apply uh, so the, what what you, what you what you should know is also is that uh, it is called tensor product because the operation really looks like a product. In fact, you can really when you have a linear combination on the left and on the right, then you uh, you can apply uh, uh, it is the, 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 there is the, uh, the addition is distributive with the, the multiplication. multiplication in terms of tensor product, uh, uh, you can really do uh, the calculation like if it is a, a classical product. So this is what you can do. And so here again, uh, when you will develop, you will see that uh, there will be some product like psi, psi orthogonal, uh, psi orthogonal psi that will appear, the two being, uh, the, the, two, the two, no, uh, uh, so uh, forget what I said. When we develop, when we do the calculation, you obtain this for psi psi. You see that you have cos square times uh, you are here psi psi. You have cos square times e minus i phi sinus sine theta divided by two on the on the top and the on the bottom you have for psi psi you have uh, e so this this expression multiplied by cosine. Uh, cosine of state theta divided by two, but here we have a sinus minus here. So this, it cancels, so you have zero here. Same for psi orthogonal, you have zero here. And when you do the calculation, the, the, the distribution uh, uh, with psi orthogonal, with, with psi and psi orthogonal, so here you, you obtain cosinus square with a factor e minus theta, uh, minus beta, e to the power minus i beta. And uh, for the second line, you will have uh, sinus square instead, uh, and with uh, the, the e to the power minus i phi and the e power i phi cancel, so you you, you still have uh, you will have the same uh, uh, phase factor here here e uh, to the to the power minus i beta. So cos square and sinus square will be one and you know. same for here. But uh, what, when you do the calculation, you have a sinus. Uh, you have uh, you, you do you have first sine square and then cosine cosine square with uh, sine minus here. So if you do have the choice e to the power minus i beta equal to one, then we can say that 
whatever the, the state we choose, quantum uh, uh, state we, we choose uh, for, uh, for uh, in uh, uh, space represent, uh, representing the qubit, psi uh, minus can be expressed uh, in, a, in, a, in a very nice shape, uh, one divided by square root of two, psi, psi orthogonal minus psi orthogonal psi. So we, we first have zero one minus one zero, but in fact you have it for any uh, show shoes of uh, the quantum basis. And so we have a psi. Uh, so what, how can we interpret then the the bell, the bell state of uh, uh, of a pair of qubits in uh, in the bell state psi minus? Uh, it's simply when you will look. At one of the qubits in one direction, then you will, when you will do the measure, you will measure in the opposite direction uh, on the other on the other uh, uh, qubit. Now we are interested in measurements. So now I express psi minus with any uh, choice uh, of uh, the basis. So it can be phi or psi. Phi, phi orthogonal or psi 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 psi, psi orthogonal. The measurement of the first qubit uh, can be uh, can be in set phi, uh, and then what is the projected uh, uh, state after the measurement? Uh, so we apply. Uh, we, so we do the measurement only on the first qubit. So the, for, the, for the second qubit, it will be uh, the identity, and for the first qubit, it is a projector on phi. So if you apply this projector on this, so here again, uh, uh, this work like you expect. So the first part will apply to the first part of the qubit, of the pair, and the second part will, will apply to the second part of the, of the pair. So when you do the calculation, you, you will have uh, psi psi uh, apply to psi here, uh, no, sorry, phi phi apply to phi here, and the identity applied to phi orthogonal, so we have phi orthogonal, and here we have sine minus, and phi phi applied to phi orthogonal, and identity applied to phi. Phi and phi, and phi orthogonal are orthogonal, so this is equal to zero, so this cancel. And what remains is one divided by square root of two, phi, phi orthogonal. This means that uh, the measured state for the first qubit will be phi. The probability is the, is the square root of it, of, of the factor here, so it is one half. The state of the measurement of, of, of the pair after the, uh, the state of the pair after the measurement is then this state renormalized, so phi phi orthogonal. And so the, you, uh, what the observer can say, it can infer that the state of the second qubit is phi orthogonal. So there is a fundamental for me difference between the, what is measured and what is inferred. It's not the same status. There is one uh, qubit that has been really measured by the observer. The second one is only inferred. It is not measured. And this is important for the, for the interpretation of that. For, we can do the same for the measurement of the second qubit in state. I choose here psi orthogonal. Uh, so uh, you do the calculation, and what you obtain is something that is one divided by square root of two psi times psi orthogonal. So you see that the states are not the same, but it's normal. We do not do the, the, the proceed to the same measurement. We proceed on the measurement on the base phi phi orthogonal for the first qubit, and for the second qubit, we, we measure, uh, we do some measurement in another basis. So here again, the, we have the measure state, the state of the pair, and the inferred state. But this is important because now we are we enter the core of uh, but it's about it's uh, almost the end. Eh? Uh, uh, so of what I wanted to show you, uh, so I consider the EPR experiment. So the, the EPR experiment is precisely an experiment in which we consider that you have a, a pair of qubits that is in state psi minus. Uh, Alice observer uh, observer A for Alice and Bob observer B are in different locations. And they have their own qubits. They receive the, 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 the one of the, the Alice received the first qubit of the pair, and, and Bob received the second one. The distance here between Alice and Bob is is is, is uh, large enough so that the the 
the information exchange between Alice and Bori is not cannot be considered as instantaneous. You need times to receive the, the at the speed of light. You need times to to, to receive the, the the information from Bob about what Bob measures for Alice and and vice versa. So Alice measures the first qubit in state five at a time. Uh, uh, such as uh, she she has uh, she has not yet uh, uh, received the measure the measurement of, of Bob. Uh, so uh, in a given referential, this uh, uh, so this is what uh, the inertial frame of reference are uh, for uh, for this. Bob has another uh, inertial frame of reference R prime, and then it will correspond to a time which is a time prime a. For the measurement of by a of the of her qubit, she received at the speed of the light the results of the Bob's measurement at the time for her that is after uh, the time she measured, and you can check with uh, special relativity that for Bob it will be the same the the, uh, the, the time at which uh, Alice will, will will receive the result of Bob. In the Bob refer in Bob uh, inertial frame of reference R prime will be also greater. Thus, the project test so the project test state the projected state after the measurement is uh, the, this one uh, giving uh, for Alice the state of the pair being psi uh, no sorry phi phi orthogonal. Now Bob may do another experiment. So here again he will do a measurement on the second qubit uh, and. He, He may, uh, in, in, psi, in the basis psi, uh, psi orthogonal, and he may measure psi orthogonal. At the time, uh, uh, given time in, in uh, his inertial frame of reference, which corresponds to uh, a, a, a time in uh, Alice's inertial frame of reference. And because they are separated, we can have a situation, and this is a situation we consider here, in which uh, not only Alice receives the result of Bob after our measurement, but also Bob receive uh, Alice measurement after his measurement. If they are far enough, you can have a situation that is uh, that, that that is like this. And so we do the same consideration, and you see that then the the projective uh, the projected sp sp uh, state is psi time psi orthogonal. So you see that there are two different states. So the paradox is the state after their respective measurement in this configuration are different. For Alice, it is psi phi uh, phi orthogonal. For uh, Bob, it is psi psi orthogonal. So who is right, Alice or Bob? What do you think? A bit of interaction, please. <laughs> Probably both. Both, yeah. I'm missing, but... Uh, it's already to the title of my, uh, of, <laughs> yes. of my presentation, of course. Mm -hmm. So we can interpret that quantum state are relative to observers. But most people do, do, do not like this, this and uh, they do not consider this. They just say that the usual interpretation is that Alice or Bob measure first and then uh, uh, instantaneously change the state of, of, of the other qubit. If you consider that one is uh, one uh, uh, has performed the measurement first, then you can say that, if, for example, if Alice measures first uh, before Bob, you can say, well, Alice is right and Bob is, is wrong. In fact, uh, you may think like this, but it's a problem with uh, special relativity because times depend on the observer uh, inertial frame of reference R and R prime, and we are in a configuration here is that you can choose. In fact, you can choose the, the inertial frame of reference, such as either the Bob uh, measure for each of them, either Bob measure before Alice, either Alice measure before Bob, or they measure simultaneously. So it's all the possibilities, uh, all the combinations between the two are possible. So you are in a situation in which, for example, Alice and Bob think that in their referential, they measure before. So both say, I am right and, Bob, and the other is wrong. Even worse, They can also think that uh, uh, Alice can think that Bob measure first, and Bob can think that Alice measure first. But then nobody measures in that case. So, uh, it, uh, the, the inter so this implies, in fact, this implies for me uh, the observer dependence of the state. If you accept the fact that the state 
is relative to the observer. So Alice and Bob may have different states and, and this so uh, all the, the, the paradox that you have here. Uh, I will talk uh, I will talk later about it about some uh, relation uh, some interpretation of quantum physics that uh, uh, have this interpretation. And in fact, if you look at the quantum formalisms uh, that I use to to, to to get this this result, it does not care about the order of the measurement, not at all. In fact, here what I represent is uh, the first the measurement here by Alice and then the measurement by Bob. It is in the reverse order because we, we apply this on operators. So we first apply this operator here and then this, this operator. So this is equal to, you can, because it, uh, uh, they, are in, uh, they are independent, you can reverse the order and it is equal to this, in fact. Uh, it's, it, you can also consider that, in fact, Alice and Bob measure at the same time or one of, before uh, the other, uh, it's the same, in fact. And you can share, so you, you really can uh, do what happened when you do the boss measurement. So after uh, Bob or Alice received the, the information about the measurement of the other. So in that case, for Alice, you could do the calculation. So Alice, uh, as an intermediate state, uh, she has this vector, projected vector. You applied uh, the, the fact that Bob observed on psi orthogonal and you obtain this formula. You, you can do the calculation. It's easy. And the project state, projected state uh, for Bob uh, uh, after he received the, the information from Alice about her measurement, you do the calculation in the same way. You have uh, Bob representation uh, of, uh, of the, the state of pair, the, pair the, the state of the pair here after his measurement, and then he, uh, he, uh, he applied the operator on, uh, on the fact that uh, Alice measure on phi, on phi and you obtain something. There is a small difference. In, in fact, if you do the, 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 if you do the, calcul the calculation, the mass, the, the two uh, emission products here are equal, in fact. So uh, there, there are different, in the intermediate state, there are, uh, step, they have different states. But when they receive the information from the other, they, uh, they, 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 there is a reconciliation. And uh, they, again, have the same state. And I have almost finished here. This is just the summary. Uh, I think I will stop here, in fact, uh, because we are running out. Well, maybe I will show uh, shortly uh, uh, one slide, uh, one other slide. So when you consider EPR experiment, EPR experiment plus special relativity, the quantum state may be relative. The initial state is the same. The intermediate state, state is different. And uh, after reception of the measurement outcome of the other, the final state is again the same. I will not go. You will have the slide. I will put the slide on the on the website. You can check uh, uh, things about with um, uh, with some circuits, quantum circuit. So here I will go fast. Uh, the interpretation, interpretation in which uh, quantum state are. It is at the core of the interpretation. The quantum states are different. It's the Carlo Rogelis interpretation, the relational interpretation of quantum physics. I gave the links here. And uh, one statement, an important statement, is that quantum me mechanics is a theory about the physical description of phys uh, physical system relative to other systems, is what it is called relational. And this is a complete de descrip description of the world. We cannot say anything. There is no absolute state. Uh, there, there are only relative states which may be equal in most of the case, but in some cases, uh, they may be different. Asher Perez, uh, which is one of the inventors of the uh, quantum teleportation, has also something a bit uh, in the same, uh, same line. Uh, quantum state is about information. And uh, what is important, when Alice measure a few bit, absolute, absolutely nothing happens in Bob location. It's something, there is, no there is a change in the state, but the state is relative to Alice. For the state of Bob, there is nothing that happens. Something happens only when he receives uh, the information by Alice of, of what she measured, or when she does, when, or when he did, when he does uh, a measurement. This is a really important aspect. Oh, I will go. I will, I will skip that. Uh, the most important, so this is the conclusion. Uh, so the, the second case, uh, the observer observe, uh, observed is about the, Sch the Schrodinger cat uh, experiment, and I did not have time to, to show you it, but it is in the slide. Uh, the case one is one, uh, the one I talk about, about uh, in this presentation uh, today. 
and when this case appear like a uh, situation, so appear like a situation is a situation when you have two distant observers that uh, are measuring the same composite system with two components that are distant also. And in that case, uh, in each observer observing one component. So in that case, you can have uh, something uh, that uh, states that are dependent on the observer. So when is it? Uh, when is this case uh, relevant for quantum computers? It's not really relevant because usually you consider only one observer, you as uh, the one that uses the, the, the machine, and also because uh, the distance between the qubits in a, in a, in, a, in a quantum computers is, is uh, very small, so uh, they can be considered as being as, as being in the same location. For your, uh, in terms of order of magnitude, 30 centimeters represent one hundred second of, uh, of uh, photon transmission. Uh, so it's very fast, and uh, the, the chips of quantum computers are smaller than uh, 30 centimeters. But it is clearly uh, relevant uh, for quantum distributed systems such as quantum networks. Each node observe a qubit, uh, which is integral in a base state with another qubit in another node. And the nodes are significantly distant. Uh, the photon transmission uh, on the fiber for 50 kilometers is 0 0.25 milliseconds, which is not neglectable. Uh, and so this is why this effect is important for, for in quantum uh, networks and quantum communication, and in particular in quantum key distribution. This is something that is, in fact, used to, to get some proof that uh, uh, if there is a nifth dropper in the middle, uh, uh, the the observer will be uh, detected, and I will stop here. And I think I do maybe yes, but I think we start a bit uh, later. So uh, less a bit less than one hour. <laughs> yes, we have time for a quick question. Uh, does someone on the bridge want to pick up? I really want to have your 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 your, your advice, your opinion on this. Uh, is it something that is difficult here to follow? Uh, of course, there are a lot of mathematical formulas, but they are, in my opinion, they are simple. But uh, I, maybe it is because I'm too 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 much used to them. <laughs> but uh, it's really uh, like uh, Euclidean space calculation. Eh? Uh, you can give, you can say uh, I'm wrong. Eh? My personal take would be that. Indeed, it's, nothing is tremendously difficult in terms of uh, linear algebra. Yeah. But uh, when you're not uh, accustomed to the to the field, in fact, you you need to go uh, back yeah. and forth be between the simple math, but also what it means in terms yeah. of interpretation and so on. So uh, yeah. nevertheless, it's, it's still a uh, an exercise that's not so easy for that reason, mm. even if the math are not so complicated. Uh, this is what I was thinking about a bit also. The notation also this is why I introduced the notation in the first slide. But you need to remember them. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So then, then but, uh, there's a lot to put in, in RAM uh, during, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> during the presentation. And this is why I was a bit long also at the beginning because I really want to, yeah. to spend time on this yeah. because uh, if not. Uh, but then, if you are really interested in that, just look at the slide. I will give the slide. And you can also. Get in contact with me, and we can exchange more on this if you want. Yeah. I have a very basic question about the science. So you have the qubits, the two qubits, Alice and Bob. What happens if they observe each and do not communicate uh, anything? Ah, this is a good question. <laughs> so uh, maybe it was a bit. Uh, so I will repeat the question. So we may have the same configuration uh, with Alice and Bombers, uh, their qubit, but they do not exchange information. So what happens then? But uh, nothing. In fact, uh, Alice uh, knows that she has measure 0 or 1 uh, with probability 50%, for example. Uh, but she has, so she inferred the state for the other, but she cannot do anything with it. And Bob, the same. But you cannot do anything. Uh, it's simply, uh, if they do not communicate, there is no reconciliation between Alice and Bob. But you cannot, they cannot do anything with uh, what they just have a random bit. And the random bit is less random when they. Eh? The, the whole thing about the paradox is that to do something with what they have, they need to communicate in the standard way. 
so they communicate in the standard way. Well, the standard way they do not be sharing faster than light. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what is interesting with the quantum physics formalism is that you can model something which may, when you may think it's really difficult, you need, they communicate, so you need to model all the communication channel uh, between Alice and Bob to uh, get the, 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 the right thing, but you do not need that. You really can do it saying that you just have a communication channel at the speed of light, of course, between Alice and Bob, and then uh, Alice and Bob receive classical bits. Here you can think classically in terms of the communication they have, and uh, the modeling here works very well for that. You, you do not need to, to have a complex modeling of the channel, channel communication between Alice and Bob. And this is fortunate because this channel at the end is also quantum. Everything is quantum physics. This is something I did not say. Uh, for Carlo, Carlo Rovelli's interpretation of quantum physics with the relational quantum mechanics, uh, there are two important, three, uh, four, three, uh, two important points uh, I'm thinking. That. The first one is that states are relative to observer. The second one is that everything is quantum. This is the main difference with the, the, for the one who knows about the Copenhagen uh, interpretation, in which in the Copenhagen, uh, Copenhagen interpretation, you have, uh, you, they consider that the apparatus that do the measurement is classical. Here, you do not need uh, that in, in, in the interpretation of Carlos. Everything is quantum. Thank you.